Hi and welcome to my um, brief tutorial on how to set up authentication between two routers that are running OSPF. Um, fairly straightforward thing to do, but um, I'll just show you now. At the moment we have um, router 1, which is connected to router 2. Um, OSPF is running on both routers and we have a full uh, neighbour relationship. If I do show IP OSPF neighbour, you can see the state is in a full relationship currently. So all is well. Um, what we need to do is we're going to set up um, authentication between these two routers using uh, a pre-shake key and also using MD5 hash, hashing algorithm to um, obviously hash that and make that more secure. Um, so the first thing that we do is we're going to the OSPF process, process 1 on this occasion, and go to the area, choose authentication, and then just specify message digest. As soon as I hit enter, the dead timers will begin to expire and the actual relationship, the OSPF relationship, will actually uh, die, essentially. So the OSPF will no longer work between R1 and R2. What we'll do is we'll just jump over to R2. And once that dies, once we see the OSPF relationship die, what we'll do is um, take a look at the debug to see exactly what's going on. So we'll do debug IP OSPF adjacencies. And um, I was hoping we could do this after the um, after the adjacency fails. There you go. You can see that's now dead. Uh, neighbor down dead timer expired. So if we de debug this now, we'll see what actually goes on when one side is set up for message digest and the other isn't. As you can see there, it says receive packet from 10.10.10.2 mismatch or authentication type. Input packet specify type 2, we use type 0. So it's basically saying that R1 uses type 2, which is message digest, we use type 0, which is clear text. Um, so if we go into, in fact, we'll just turn debug off for a second. Okay, so that's off. So if we go and do the same now on this router, so router OSPF1, area 0. Authentication message digest. And if we wait a few seconds, we should see the adjacency come back up now. Um, so both sides are now using MD5. There you go. And the adjacency is a full adjacency. Everything's fine. So both sides are now using Type 2 MD5 um, for the hashing. Now, obviously, there's no key. We haven't set up a appreciated key between the, the two routers yet. This is actually done under the interface level rather than through the router. Um, level, so which is a bit strange to me, but I'm sure there's a good reason for that. Um, so we'll go and do fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. Okay, and now we, all we need to do now is just set up the um, authentication key that's used for this. Uh, so do IP OSPF. And uh, we get quite a lot of options here, but the one we're looking for is this one here, message digest key. And then we have to choose a key ID, which we'll is choose one. And then MD5, um, that's the only option there anyway. And then the actual password will use Cisco. So it's IP, OSPF, message digest key, MD5, and Cisco. So now it's saying that we need this key to form this OSPF relationship. So what we should see in theory is the, um, again, the uh, neighbor relationship fail and time out. It just takes a few seconds. We'll jump over to R2. And again, um, we'll be ready to look at the debug packets. Let's have a look. Oops. So debug OSPF adjacencies, really handy command actually. Okay, as you can see, the uh, neighbor relationship has died again, um, and we'll debug it to have a look what kind of um, error messages or what kind of information that we see during the debug. So, packet received from 10.10.10.1, mismatch authentication key, no message digest key one on interface. So it's saying that this side is set up, R1 is set up with the um, key, but R2 is no, actually not set up. So um, it's fairly straightforward and it's pretty obvious what the problem is um, when you see that, I would hope. So we'll turn debugging off. And what we need to do is we need to go into the correct interface. 
which is this one, fast C30 zero slash zero. And we just need to turn the same on on this side really for the um, relationship to form again. So it's IP USBF, message digest, key one and uh, MD5 and then just the key. I'm tempted to put let's put Cisco 1 because we know that's incorrect the actual key is Cisco. Just want to have a quick look at the debug um, just to see if it tells you it's a mismatch. I'm pretty sure it will. So let's watch the packet. Hopefully rather than saying that there's no um, OSPF message digest key it'll say there's a mismatch but We'll take a take a look and see what it says. Mismatch authentication key message digest Q1. So this time it's saying yeah there is a key but it's incorrect. So just turn debugging off again. Okay. So back under the interface. Uh, I think it was fast zero slash zero. IP OSPF message digest key one MD5 um, this time we'll change it to Cisco uh, we have to get rid of the the previous key key one that's rather annoying okay there we go hopefully now we should see the relationship form and everything should be fine and there we go straight away it's a nice fast protocol OSPF um, so the relationship's there, it's authenticating, uh, it's using MD5 to uh, encrypt the keys and everything looks great. So any questions, in fact we'll just confirm that, show ISPF, uh, IP OSPF neighbour, and you'll see the relationship's fully formed, no problems at all. Um, any questions about that, drop me a comment, if you like the video please like it, or even better, subscribe to the channel. Um, lots more OSPF videos coming, um, we're going to do multi-area OSPF and lots of kind of, uh, cool things, frame relay and um, virtual links and lots of fun like that really. So any questions give me a shout, um, it'd be great to hear from you, thank you.